everybody, this is Beetle 5 starting the beat with one of my, another one of my alt, my favorite PlayStation 1 games, Croc, Legend of the Gobos. Now this game was really special to me because it was, not only was it like among the first three games that I've ever played on the PS1 at all, so it stuck real close to me, but this is also among one of the first platformers I've ever played. And it, it works a lot like in a sense of Donkey Kong Country, because you're like moving from certain level to level. But the whole premise of Croc is that he's a crocodile, obviously, who lives among the Gobos, which are basically those little fuzzball people. And they raised him and cared for him because Croc was orphaned, so they raised him as such. But one day, evil goblins, or I think they're, I don't think they're called goblins, I think they have a name, I, it's been years since I play, so I'm not sure. They kidnap a bunch of the Gobos and their king, but the king Gobo sends Croc away so he's not captured. But now we have to start rescuing the Gobos, so let's do this. Oh my god, I just, I, I don't know, Croc was really underappreciated in my opinion, because I don't know if he was made by the same people who made, like, Crash Bandicoot and Spyro and everything. Oh my god, the controls dude is so weird. Alright, so that's the jump. Uh, that's the immediately switch back. What's my tail swipe? Okay, that's the tail swipe, so it's good. Kick your ass! Boom! You wanna get a bunch of these little crystals? Yeah, cause sometimes you can get color crystals in the disguise as regular ones. Double speed. Kaboom! He always makes the greatest sound effects too, like let's get the jump on. Well, this should do stomp. Yep, just big ol' stomp. We want all that stuff, it's good stuff. Looks like they respawn though, so I gotta be careful with that. Yeah, see, this is a really strange platform because it was a bit weird. It didn't always want to work on it with you. Although, hold on, before we go through that door, it looks like I can go down that. Well, down here, here we go. Rope, a jump! Alright, let's go down here. Again, though, this brings a lot of. Oh, crap. Brings a lot of fond memories, because. Also, I never beat this game, which is the crazy thing, because back when I was a child, I wasn't so dead set on beating video games. Like, I played them just for the fun. So, this one I found myself constantly playing. I think it's also because I got stuck in a certain area that I could not figure out as a kid how to beat. And obviously, I didn't have anybody else around for me to, to help me with this kind of game. And also, I didn't really realize the existence of the internet. Oh, shit. But it's an amazingly great platform. Yes oh, baby. I want to get more of them gobos, but now I gotta wait for these platforms to respawn them. I don't know. To me, I just thought this game was a really special, special piece. It really clicked to me, this kind of game. And, and, th and thumbs up to anybody out there who actually real remembers what this game is, because it's very underappreciated. Not many people know that this was ever real. And it came with a legitimate good sequel. And apparently it came out with a third one too, but um, it must not have been good because uh, I never heard of it. Oh shit, that was a good shot. Okay, didn't see that coming. Oh, wait a minute, I have a uh... Okay, I might want to move the camera back maybe because it shows my jewel counter in the top left that I didn't even realize it there. Oh shit! That was gonna be sweet. Get that. No! Owie! Owie Kazowie! Gotcha, Gobo! You are saved! Alright. Ah, there's a door over there, but I'm gonna need all the crystals to get to that door. So let's get me all the- well, all the color crystals. So I believe Wacky That ends the level, so let's not do it. Oh, hey! Oh, shit. You don't look nice. Alright, so it's like Sonic. I wanna keep hold of all these crystals here. I think it's supposed to stop to kill you? God God! Oh, I don't know how to kill him. Uh, maybe, you know what? Fuck this guy. I'll see if I can grab the gobo. Oh! Whoa! Major leap! That's good. I wasn't really good at making jumps like that when I was a kid. But hold on, the last- Oh, fuck! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Gotta be careful. Brown little fuckers like that guy there. There we go, there's the last, uh... The last color gem. Roop. Roop. 
Oh, oh yeah. Ups and easy. Just got it. No, no, no. Kapow. Right, I got this other gem. It's good. Yeah, because I think in Croc 2, it runs on, a, on an actual, like, life meter system. But in here, it runs by, like, the Sonic get the rings kind of thing. Which is fine. I'm more than used to play that. All right, let's get in here. See what a special secrety secret is. Probably cool. Oh, shit. Oh, it's a lot more, uh, Christmas. Boingy. Boingy. Gee, I figured the bouncing would actually send me higher rather than what it kind of does. Okay. Oh, I got a key or some shit. What's that? Alright, whatever. It's a really weird mechanic. Oh, I need the key to get the Gobo. Whee! Alright. You're free, Gobo! I'll bring you home with me! And curse how! Alright. So yeah, it... It's cool because it runs very much like Donkey Kong Country. You got you gotta generally do the same thing. Underground, overground. <laughs> it's like World War, do this, or like Super Mario Bros. Game. I, I mean, I don't know. I can't think of the exact names of the people who made this thing, so I don't know. You know what? It's stupid because they were uh, actually featured right in the beginning of the game before you even opened it, and I just didn't pay attention. It's got something to do with like um, Fox, I think. I don't know. Fox and something else helped make this game. But whatever's it's special to me. I don't care who made it. I love it. It's a crazy cool. And the soundtrack's really cool. It's really catchy too. It's... Like it sounds really spooky. Oh shit, he's got a lot of crystals in there. Packs of 10. And a gobo! Got your little fuzzy bunch, bitch. The other guy I'm gonna have to get a key for, so let's see. Oop. Fuck yourself. There's a the key. Now, this is kind of that thing where I can't afford to destroy platforms, otherwise I, uh, I won't be able to reach certain places. I'm also not sure if they would, like, some games they could respawn if, uh, if they fuck up. I, I don't want to assume that that'll happen here. This is from PlayStation. I mentioned I'm playing this on PS1. Well, emulated, obviously, but this is a PlayStation 1 game, as was the second one. Although, the second one I actually had as a PC CD-ROM. Which if I find somewhere, it'd be cool because then I don't have to end it. See if I can find that CD somewhere. But anyways, PS1, I wouldn't expect it to be that kind to me. So, here go. Boing. The blue crystal. Oh shit. Oh shit. It's the end of the level's already right there. But though, no, I did not get all of the colored crystals. Honestly, I was gonna say, I, I thought that would have been one of them. Come on! Alright. No, no other crystals anywhere. Oh well. Again, this game was also intended for a much younger audience, so it was meant to be, uh. Did it show me? Oh no, okay. It, uh, it was meant to be easy. It wasn't really meant to be a difficult game. But I mean, take, take in mind when I played this. Jesus, well, how old was I when I started this game? Uh, I don't know, but young enough to definitely young enough that the audience of this game was definitely aiming for. Like they were definitely aiming for my young young audience. Come on up, get up. Jesus, sometimes it comes out of the fucking window. Right, the trick of the simulator is that you have to have the window selected, otherwise the controls don't work. Because it's weird like that. I like the backup version of it as I'm not a backup version. Color crystal! Bada boom, baby. So now that I'm older and I play this game, it seems so much more simple. Whoa. Whoa! Whoa! Oh boy! Look out! Here comes the croc! Coming in with his crocs. Oh, I'm so good at this. Alright. I'll eyeball this fucker. Right. Oh, fuck. Alright, I think I, I think I still see it. I'm pretty sure it's this one. Yeah! See, as a kid, I was really good at those kind of puzzles. Like, my dad would take me to, like, um... When I was younger, obviously, I don't really do this anymore. But my dad would take me to, um, like, football games, right? 
And, uh, you know those games they have on the giant big screen, where, like, during intermission or whatever, or, like, after a play or something. They'll put up things where they're, like, they'll hide the football under the cup, and you have to try and follow it. Excuse me, and I was just really fucking good at that, no matter how fast it moved. So, oh, something up there. Oh, shit, it's rising. Ooh. I'm not gonna want that key down that way. If you're wondering what that noise in the background is, the years have wondered what the hell it was, but I just I just realized now it's uh, enemies respawning. Apparently they don't really take they take their they don't take their time with doing that. Fuck. It's okay, I can do this. Gotta look out for these fucked up mole rat thingies. No, damn it! Ah, stop jumping on the ledge. There you go. Okay, I hope they don't fucking run up to the left side. Are you gonna move too, or is it just... Yeah, it's just this one. That's the other one. Fuck! Come on, come back down. Come on. Ah, fuck nuggets. Alright, I'm gonna move the box. I really like that these guys kind of don't fuck with me, so long as I don't fuck with them. And I don't have much of a reason to fuck with them seeing as that they'll respawn every time. I mean, not unless they're in my way. That was kind of the thing, too. When I was young, I just played it just to kick their asses. Bada boom. Go through that gate. Whoa. Get up here. Whoop. See, as a kid, I destroyed those. That oh, shit. I don't know what to do about that. Oh, God! He hit me good! Alright, let's get the idea. Whoa. Oh fuck. Where am I supposed to go? Oh shit. God damn it. Alright, there's literally no way to avoid him. I can't get out of his reach. Fall damage. Is it a thing? Does it look like it? Okay. Alright, I, I. Maybe there's another pathway I can take, because I don't want to destroy that just yet. This is somewhere else I can. Oh yeah, there's a door down here. Durr. Should have seen that coming. Okay, so those, I'm guessing those giant pink serpent dudes aren't meant to die. Which also I didn't really realize as a kid. Like I, I, I thought, you know, okay, Super Mario, you, you can kill everything, right? Well, and then, uh, and then it took me seconds to realize. Whoop! Oh, I fucking lagged in midair there. Oh. Yeah. Don't worry, buddy. I'll get you out. But anyways, yeah, Super Mario took me to realize, like, oh shit, Thwops can't die. Um, what is it? Lots of bad guys that I can't name right now. I'm already dead. Boom! Got all them crystals. But I'm not leaving without freeing that Goomba. So not, oh god damn it! I'm thinking of Mario and I said Goomba. Gobo! Not fucking Goomba. There's a key. I'm gonna save that Gobo. I'm coming, Mr. Gobo. Woohoo! Yippee! Gobo. That's good. I don't have to stop to hit that button. Okay, that's cool. I mean, he's got he got his tail whip and a, and a stop attack. Kapow! Kapow! I love the sound effects. The sound effects are easily the coolest thing about it. Kapow! Kapow! Hiyo! Oh no, I just so many memories. Oh, here we go. Another memorizing thingy. Oh, what the fuck? Oh. Oh, it's whackable, but I can't do it with this piece of shit control scheme. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I think I got the hang of it. It's unfair if it gets faster on me, though. Fuck. Fuck. Ba. 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 I'm on a roll. Them sheep are gonna die. Gotcha! Got the gobo! Ha ha ha! Curse black! Whoa! The fuck was that? Oh, whoa! I could do a wicked backflip! Kabow! I like it. Okay, so, uh. I think that's Circle that does that. Well, I'm just trying to think PlayStation wise because I'm using the keyboard. And just, eh, I guess it don't matter. When I realized that was the Z X, and that's all I need to know. Oh, hello! It be a rubber duck! 
And ain't a rubber duck though. This is the Goblin King, dude. Oh shit! He turned him into a Muppet. <laughs> Seriously, he looks like a Muppet. He's a weird looking dude. Okay. Well, I guess I'm gonna kick his ass. Because this goblin guy is taking little innocent creatures and turning them into monsters. Oh shit. Right, oh, better. I guess, this, I guess this is the fight. Oh shit, I get the move. Oh, wow, it's like. Okay, I get the guy. In. Oh, well, I'll be, I would have been moving around that crystal forever. I kept that down. I want all these crystals. These crystals are just gonna allow me to live. Oh, I can run too. I'll do this. Okay. Get that shit. Oh, God. That was close. I, I, I'm worried he wasn't. He's not gonna get enough momentum if he jumps backwards. But he does. He gets an equal amount. Cause that's another thing about this game. Like the platforming of this is just really weird. I don't know. This is how I'm. I could probably breeze through this game in like seconds if I really attempt to try it out. But I just haven't played it in so long. But it, it is relatively an easy game. It's not like it's difficult. I think I'm gonna fight this guy now. Oh no, man. Gotta go to the little obstacles. I have to prove my worth to be able to kill the duck man. Cause you know, he's a duck man. Boing! No! Fucking goblin! Kick your ass! Become sparkles! Oh, shit, that was close. Fuck you, goblin. Can't wait till I actually find out if you guys are goblins or not. I'm gonna be googling that shit right after I play this video. Cause it's gonna be bugging me because I know they're not goblins, but I don't know what else to call them. All right. Hey there, Mr. Ducky Man. How are you? Oh shit. Coming to waddle at me now. He's waddling at me. Oh, that's the spot. Kunk, kersplat. Come on, Mr. Ducky. He's a coming. He come a running. Mr. Duck Man. Got a big star on his chest. He's a superhero duck man. Oh, what's that? Open, sucker. He makes that funny plank noise. Oh shit! All right, Angel. No, my crystals! Ah! I have two left. Come on! Three times a charm, right? Three hits. Come on, please. Oh, I'm a coming. Crush splat! He's dead. Oh, he just died in simultaneously just by standing up. He's just dead. <laughs> oh. Okay, now he's just a ducky again. It's all right. I beat your ass. To the transformation, like, reverse itself. And then there's this birdie guy who just transports me anywhere. Uh, tumbly dead, the tumbly dead TD. Oh, is that way bit? Wait a minute, are these go are these guys called dead TDs? I gotta find out for sure. I'm gonna do that right now, just to be just to be safe on the safe side. Couple, oh, kick your ass, motherfucker. Okay, I'm actually not gonna lie. I think. This was the part that I could never get past because I remember fighting the duck man. I don't, I don't want to destroy nothing here. Hey, can I, I? I have to know if I can kill you. I need to know if you can die. Alright, you maybe not, might not be able to die. Alright, let's just go here and ignore that guy completely. What the actual fuck? Oh my god, I remember now. This part baffled the fuck out of me, because I'm like, why can't I get up here? There's nothing that allows me to get up. Croc can't jump high enough. And it's not like he can, like, ground bounce or whatever. Like, certain characters, if they jump while immediately touching the ground, they get a bigger boost in the air. Maybe I have to kill this guy. Maybe he needs to die. He must die. God damn it! I'm gonna see if I can try to kill him. Yeah! So he dies by stomp. Wait a minute. Oh my god! Shit! See, I'm, okay, I eyeball that. And I'm thinking, okay, this looks a little out of place. Maybe it's climbable. Cause I know shit in this game is climbable, but my god, I, I, I my five-year-old brain wasn't big enough to comprehend that. Holy fuck, I can't believe that's what it was. All these years. Of, and, and, I, and, like, when I am through my teenage years of shit, I sometimes went back to play this game, right? Just to see what it was like. How did I miss that every time? 
Motherfucker! I am one dumb dude. I really am. This is all now new to me. Every bit of this. Oh, fuck. Right. That's it. It's the start of a brand new game that I could never fucking play. I love it. I'm so glad it took me to what 20 years later for me to figure out how the fuck this game works. <laughs> That's how you know it's a good game, when you when you struggle with it for 20 years and then finally figure it out. Alright, since killing you is a bitch, I'm not gonna bother. I have all the crystals. Hold on. Last crystals. I have the last Goombas over here. Crystal Oh shit, that's a small black one. Oop, dip up. Alright, guess I... Oh, I should have probably gone through that door up there that I unlocked. Now there you go back up. Oh, well, that's a dummy. Whatever. Boop! Ah! Sorry, new territory. Uh, I don't know how shit works now. I haven't played this game in, what, 20 years? So, you know. Okay, this looks like the last level, maybe. Or maybe the second to last level. I want to try and beat this world. Like, it's world one, blah, 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 kind of thing, you know? So, I want to at least beat this. Because these levels are relatively short. Oh. Okay. Shit. Those oh. These devil dudes up here. Really kick-ass music. Like the snapping you hear in the background. It sounds awesome. Kappa splat! Hey yo! I love it. I just fucking love this music. I really gotta appreciate the croc music. This just sounds good. Oh, yeah. Gotcha. Alright, what did that do? Oh! Platform over there. Well, let's keep it through this door first. Uh, actually, no. You know what? Let's stick in this room. Oh, my God. There's a box back here. Alright. I kind of like that all the... I'm going to call them Dantinis. Because I'm assuming that's what their names are. So, I'm going to assume that Dantinis are, um, are only passive-aggressive, which is kind of nice. It's, it's not like these flying dudes are coming out to kick my ass or nothing. And I can just fuck their day up whenever I want. Oh my god, I have to fucking press that. Alright, fuck it then. I might have enough time. Sorry, Gobo, you're gonna be stuck there. That's way too. too hard. Here we go, balloon! Shit, back it up. Kaboof! Kaboof! Hayo! Gabo! It's alright, I'll save a few of you. I'm sure there's some crazy thing for catching every Kobo, but I mean, whatever. Shit. Is that platform gonna move? Or is it moving? Is it moving? Is it moving? No, it's not moving! It's gradually slow, which means I can just hop it. Oh. Hopping it. God, what spooky, scary skeleton music? What's up, this little fucker over here? Hey, there, little fucker! I just killed Cubert. He literally looked like a Cubert. Oh shit, I went left. But seriously, I swear to God, I'll, I'll hit the same enemy is over here. I'll take a good look at him before I kill him. Oh yeah, he's a Cubert. He's a Cubert, all right. Oh, sorry, Cubert. Didn't really play much of your game anyway. Oh, fuck! That really hit me? Goddamn. Ah, uh, move around! Ooh. No, not one of these fuckers again. Oh, shit. Your distance ain't that good. Your rage, like, like, however, if I'm circling you, you're gonna hit me, but... You can't hit me that close, bitch. Oh, what's that? The purple crystal! Oh, hell to the fuck. Yes. Let's see the key is over yonder this way. Looks like it is. Oh, yeah. There be it, the key. A few of these crystals just to keep me alive. Whoop. A gobo! Two for the price of one! So straight down the line and grab these crystals. The big crystals! Wow, that royally fucks me up. I have to touch the cage in order to free them and fucking die or take damage from bumping into the lava. I call bullshit. What special reward do I get? Alright, where we go? Oh. 
Daisy. Oh. Supposed to break all these? Oh, now I am. Here we go! Boom, 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 boom! Oh, I should have grabbed the cube. Whoopsie poopsie! That's another combo lost to the winds! I just killed him. I'm like, fuck are you! And I just left him in his cage. Darkness descends! I hope this is the last level! Because this game is going on for a while now. I might have to split these up in, uh, in segments of uh, half. Maybe like half the levels or whatever. This looks like it's the last level. It's all dark and crazy outside. And that's outside, mind you, not inside. Ooh. I'm not going to break that box. Aha! It's a good thing I, oh, it's a good thing I didn't break that box. Boom, boom, boom. Let's break that boxes. Get that gobo. Get down the well. Do all the shit. Okay, I'm gonna... What the actual fuck is this? Uh, what is this fuckery right here? Gotcha! <laughs> oh, of course, some fuckery. I'm trying to hide in a little crate. Why are you doing hiding? Well, I guess we're all hiding because, uh, what is it? The day of TDs invaded their homeland, so... They're gonna be a-running and hiding. Oh, shit, that's awesome. Fire boy. Go on. There we go. Ooh! Look! It's Frogger with a crocodile. Well, shit. That's not good. I would suggest we move. Oh. Rub it up. Rub it up. That shit. That was probably another colorful crystal. Yep, it is. Rub them up. Rope them up. Oh my god! Fate smiled upon me in that jump right there. It truly did. I had no clue how quickly it was gonna respawn, but it decided, you know what? We like you, Greedle. We'll save you. Thank you, Croc. I appreciate it. Another wall climbing thing that's totally inconspicuous. Right, where am I going? Where am I going? Oh, upstairs. And I'm guessing the purple crystal is in here. Oh, Gobo! Gobo! Where be it the purple? Oh, there's a box up there, so. The purple crystal could be in there. Oh, yeah. Whoa, oh, whoop a dooba. Whoop a dooba. Dooba dooba. Oh, bear be if the purple crystal. Owie, cuz owie! My bootocks got burned. I've learned that the shit behind the gongs, they do that. They try to be a little douchey about that. Alright, let's do this shit. What I do? What I do? Can I swim in water? Oh, I can. Oh. Oh, underwater segment. Oh, shit. Well, shit. Well, me being a crocodile, no breathing mechanics. That's good. Can I attack underwater? Yes, I can. That's good. Right. I can't really swim straight. It's a little fucking derpy. Right, I just got the spam axle. What is yonder this away? Oh, be it the gobo trapped in a bubble. Take the lower path to get all their crystals. That's good to know, though. You know, be, be the crocodile, I, I don't drown. I like that. Because lots of people would ignore shit like that. I don't know. I think lots of characters that could swim sometimes don't. Lots of characters that I could name, but I won't because I can't name them. So. Well, now that awkwardness is done. Let's hit that gong. Oh, no, no, backflip. Hit that gong. I like it. I like this game. I like that playing this game. Okay. Uh, but okay, so there's two bosses in each world, it looks like, because it says 1B2, so that's boss 2. Okay. So let's go with the second boss. A ladybug. You take the most lame and insignificant of creatures, Mr. Goblin. Dot, dot, teeny king. And you make a bad. So. Well, shit. 
Oh boy, he's a boxing guy. I should have known that it was a there was gonna be something like that with it being in a boxing ring. Okay. If you just take a lackadaisical stroll, it's right there. No. Again, I got me a little bit of an obstacle course to get to the. Whoa, shit! I was gonna, I was gonna jump. Yeah, no. Well, oh, that was the first life I've ever lost. Up to Daisy. Whoop the buck. Hi yo, buck. Give me some crystals. Oh, that noise. That was a good sound. Kapawa. Yazo. Hop up here. Oh. Later, bitch. All right. Probably a second segment, and then we go to kill the ladybug. Oh yes. Yeah. Hey yo, what's up? This is what I'm gonna do with that dumb ladybug when I find him. I'm gonna kick him with my tail, and he's got the dumb boxing gloves, but he gonna do nothing against the crocodile. We go kick your ass, motherfucker. Oh, that noise. Have I mentioned? I love that noise. It's a very good noise. Whoa. That's gonna be punished. Yep. Whoa, shit. I'm surprised I let- I, I don't know if letting a ski blinks upon B damage. So I know it's sometimes like one of those things where you can take a second hit while it's still blinking. <coughs> I guess I'll find out at <laughs> one point. <coughs> oh, shit. All right, bitch, let's roll. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this, mister? Because here comes Joe shit. Here comes John Cena. Oh, I get it. Hey, boom, bitch! Here comes the Randy Orton slithering right in, but I'm the Croc! Ladies and gentlemen, we've got the Croc versus the Bug, and he ain't gonna last! Oh, shit! He's the one that's stunned there. It's a good thing I recollect them all because they fall from the sky. Move up. He's cheering because he's a doucher. How dare you boast, you motherfucker? That's good, you got six legs to feed your tough. He's all tired now. Oh. What the fuck? I call bullshit. I whacked him with my tail. What the fuck? Well, that crystal's lost to the winds. Oh, come on, fucker. Well, that was done with me. All right. Come on, make the punch. Make the punch, motherfucker. Come on, come on. Ooh. Okay, I got him. Alright, I gotta be careful then not to touch these guys. Unless I'm in attack. Because apparently the slightest touch, I die. And there's no more crystals, too. So if I take another hit, I'm dead. That's nice. That's real nice. I gotta have to go... I gotta have to go all natural on this motherfucker. WHAT THE FUCK?! I HIT HIM! I'm not gonna die here. And it's gonna be really stupid, because I don't wanna... ...waste... Whoa! Woo -hoo -hoo! Okay, maybe I have to hit it directly in his belly. That might be the direct spot. Ooh! Ah! Thank you, thank you, hold your applause. I am quite amazing, right? Make the punch, make the punch, motherfucker. Come on. Alright, he's got like a two move segment. He's gonna do the ground pound and he's gonna do the punch. Up here. Belly first! Fucking bunk! Got him! Alright, alright. I was worried I wasn't gonna hit him there. Or if I touch any other side that's not his stomach, I'll get hurt. That'd be bad to find out. Alright, what's your special third move, huh? Oh, he's playing like a crazy bitch. He's a cray cray. No, you do your stomp. Oh, oh, oh. What's he doing? What's he doing? He's not doing us something. Whoa, he's got the stump. He's coming in with the sucker punch. He misses. He's about to get his ass kicked by the croc. The croc comes down with a belly flop. And he kicks his ass to the point of instant shrinkage. Ladies and gentlemen, the croc cannot be beaten. Do not fuck with the croc. Now step on him. Step on him. End his suffering. Oh. Well, now I regret saying that because that was just adorable. I can't threaten to squash him now. He just hopped on my nose. Like a cutesy wootsy. Okay, so this is World 2, but we're obviously gonna stop here because this is kinda long. I might uh split these up then into half 
levels, because it looked like there was three levels each. Well, six levels each because of the boss or whatever. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's great to play this game again. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and leave a comment for those that you play in the future. And I will see you guys next time. Laters!